Hi Mo Girl, it's really sad that some learners have to go through bullying, simply because of other learners who think that they are superior. It's really painful to watch that video, already people are trying to understand how to deal with the pandemic, gender-based violence, and now bullying, no guys this is not on. Question is why move away from being educated to bullying which could possibly end your education and career. I guess we'll never know why certain things happen. So Mo Girl, I heard that there is a new TV show Deep City have you watched it already? Yes, I really like it, 5 minutes watching it, I was already glued to my TV. Today Mr. K is introducing Doppler effect, I can't wait. What are we waiting for? Let's start the show. I just like to welcome you to another episode of Science Explained with Mr. K. Um, I just like to say condolences to the family of the deceased Lena who um, committed suicide as a result of bullying. Guys, bullying is not good. It's not good. This is high time that we as parents and as teachers and as learners come together and just find a solution. I'm pretty sure there is a better solution in um, handling certain issues, guys. Uh, bullying is not the answer. Uh, we at Science Explained are anti-bullying. We don't tolerate such, guys. Um, we are already faced with a pandemic that is killing people and we are already having gender-based violence. Can we just please not add something else that will uh, remove us from focusing on the goal, or, or which in this case the goal will be uh, to be educated, to be responsible citizens of South Africa. Right guys, today we are going to cover Doppler effect. Uh, Doppler effect is what we normally experience every day. It's just that we don't really pay attention to, to it because it doesn't really affect us in any way. Uh, but for someone who's doing science, there must be sense in everything that is uh, that we experience every day. So Doppler effect is one of those things that we experience every day. Um, I would like to take you to a place where you would normally um, experience uh, Doppler effect. Say you're sitting inside a taxi and then you just hear the sound zoo. Obviously the moment you hear the sound zoo uh, to you it's just a car passing another car but what you don't realize is that there is science behind that okay because we would have two vehicles that are moving relative to each other. Right, say an ambulance is about to pass your taxi, okay? Now, because the ambulance is approaching you, it, it, it's like someone is turning up the volume. I don't know if you have, you have um, experienced something like that. Uh, and then when the ambulance passes you, it's almost now this person is turning the volume down, which is something that is funny that is happening. But uh, it, it's what we experience every day. It's just that we don't really pay attention to it, guys. But what you, want, what you have to realize is that there is a change in sound. As soon as the ambulance is approaching you and when the ambulance has just passed, there is what? A change in sound. When it approaches, the sound goes higher. And then when it passes you, the sound goes lower. So in scientific terms, we say that as the ambulance is approaching you, because you are hearing a higher pitch, the frequency of the sound is higher. And then as soon as it passes you, the frequency will be lower simply because the sound also becomes lower. Doppler effect refers to the change in wave frequency during the relative motion between a wave source and its observer. For instance, when a sound object approaches you, the frequency of the sound waves increases, leading to a higher pitch. Conversely, if it moves away from you, the frequency of the sound waves decreases and the pitch comes down. The drop in pitch of ambulance sirens as they pass by and the shift in red light are common examples of the Doppler effect. Right. Now let's look into the formula. The formula has F 
S, which is the frequency of the source. It also has FL, which is the frequency of the listener. Sometimes it can be FO, which is the frequency of the observer. So frequency of the listener or observer is one and the same thing. And then the formula has VS, which is the velocity of the source. And then VL would be the velocity of the listener. And we also have V only without the subscript. Now that V stands for the velocity of the sound in the air which is 240 meters uh, per second sometimes it may change depending on um, the question paper that you are using at the moment so guys if vs is equal to zero it means the source is stationary if vl is equal to zero it means the listener is stationary okay let's pay attention to that now, if the source is approaching or the listener is approaching, what we are going to realize is that for VL, which is the velocity of the listener, we are going to have a plus, okay? But for VS, we are going to have a minus. This is a situation where the source is approaching or the listener is approaching. Right, guys, there's something else that I want you to pay attention to. If the listener is approaching the source, right, but the source is moving away, then VL becomes positive and then VS becomes positive. I am going to say that again. If the listener is approaching the source, but the source is moving away, okay, VL is positive, VS is positive, Right. Now, if the source is approaching the listener, right, but the listener is moving away, VS will be negative. VL will also be negative. Let's pay attention to that. If the source is approaching the listener, but the listener is moving away, VL will be negative. VS will also be negative. Right, the relationship between frequency and wavelength. Uh, those two are very important as far as explanation is concerned. What you need to realize is that frequency is inversely proportional to the wavelength. In other words, uh, when you approach a stationary listener, right, the wavelength becomes smaller as the frequency increases. When you move away from a stationary listener, the wavelength increases as the frequency decreases. It's very important to take note of that. All right, guys, we have reached the end of the lesson. Please do not forget to like and subscribe for those who have not subscribed um, to my channel. And don't be afraid, guys, to just highlight me as, as far as the questions are concerned. Um, I really hope that this will assist you as you're about to start with Attempt to.